Sociology class can be so depressing. Anyway, I just got out of my first um, class of the day, which is sociology. It was really depressing. It was basically like, we were talking about education, so we were talking about how like, college graduates um, don't start families until later, and don't get jobs until later, and they make more money, but like, you don't really learn a lot of the skills you need for work in college and stuff. So it was really kind of like, I made it all the way to college and you're gonna tell me like this is kind of useless. <sighs> anyway, um, he ended on the note that like as long as the game continues to be played the way that it is, in other words, college has this legitimacy to it, we're good. But as soon as that goes away, we're all screwed. Anyway, whatever. Um, headed to my second class, so I'll see you afterwards. Bye. Hello, lovelies. So, hold on. I'm off work. That's good stuff. Bad news is I haven't done read for slash even started my post for Garden of Eden for two reasons. Mostly because I make bad life decisions. Secondly, because I'm addicted to books and none of the books that I read are the ones that I'm reading for class. So this is bad stuff. Um, and I haven't finished the book either. So prompt. That's right. Um, so I'm headed back to my room, of course, because I still get life. I'm going to finish the book first and then I'm going to worry about Garden of Eden stuff. Uh, so that's the plan. Alright, lovelies. It is late. Or early. It's really early. Like, birds are chirping in the sky. It's that early. Um, I don't feel bad. Like, I feel fine. But I'm about to go to bed. Um, basically going to take a nap before class. Um, and I'm going to do the quote of the day. Um, because I want to make sure that it's done. Even though you're probably not going to see it till tomorrow. I'm in a different spot because I'm, I'm in bed. Because it's sleepy time now. Um, but the quote of the day is, we are at the precipice of great transformation within our culture and government. And I thought that was perfect for today, slash yesterday, slash now, um, because it's election time. The election's tomorrow. Um, I just wrote a super uber long post for Garden of Eden on the election and the issues that were covered. Um, and that's basically... All we have to talk about for the next two days is going to be, or for the next day, today, is going to be um, the election and what's happening in the election. If there's if there's voter intimidation, if um, votes are lost, if it's going to have to be tried in court, if what if it's a sweep, if whatever, it's all going to be election. And either way. Some sort of history is going to be made because if Hillary Clinton wins, we have our first female president. Um, and if Donald Trump wins, I think it's just going to be an interesting start of an era of something very, um, very radically different from what we've seen before. You have a very untraditional politician who's going to take office with no experience. And I'm curious to know how that transition works. Also, you're gonna have global reactions to um, to both candidates. And the as the world's, um, not only economy, but other governments shift their al alliances with us or strengthen their alliances or whatever, all of that is going to change. Every every election, every presidential election especially, is historical. Think about it. We've only had 44 of them in our entire history of our country. In the entire history of our country. That's not a lot. Like, at all. Um, so, yeah. Like, that's amazing. And I can't wait. And I'm really glad because this is the first presidential election that I got to vote in. So, I'm really excited to see the results. So I will see you guys and the results tomorrow after I get some sleep. And on that note, I'm signing off. I'm Raven and this is my iView.